moving on quickly to the, the mapping as methodology. And what I mean with this can be very different. It can have an, a more mental map kind of approach. What do people actually see at the edge of sea and land? Or it can be about understanding how much seaborne transportation, so looking at the land from the sea matters. And once we do that, and this is the atlas that we're currently finishing, we will see that Europe is surrounded. It's not only an integration um, in the heart of Europe, but it's also surrounded by port city territories, deltas, estuaries that lead into the sea and that we have to take into account. It helps us rethink the way that Europe is organized. And if we take this territorial approach, this is what we're currently finishing, is to say, how do these port city territories here the, in the North Sea or here Lisbon are um, interconnected? What does it mean if a port borders the edge of the land? How far, how deep into the territory can we get? So this is the latest color version of the maps that we are looking at. And we can see spaces like in Hamburg with a, um, where a city state encompasses both the urban and the, um, the port territory. Now, those kinds of comparisons to just quickly look at, at the Rotterdam area show us that we need to change our approaches, that we can no longer just talk about the port city interface, which might be a very small area in the city where, which is important, Mere Wierhafen and so on. But we also have to look at spaces like where the port borders other non-urban areas or even the sea to understand how we can think about inter-species um, relationships on a larger scale. 